Hi there, my name is Jorge Tamames and I'm the author of For the People, Left Populism in Spain and the US. The book just came out and you can order it at the Lawrence and Wishart webpage, but before you do that, you might want to know what it's actually about. So it's not an academic study per se, but it's based on my 2017 master's thesis. When I was writing it, I lived between Boston and Madrid and I was investigating the appearance in both countries of two movements that were both very progressive and had um, a lot of unexpected electoral success at the beginning. There were the anti austerity party Podemos in Spain and the Bernie Sanders campaign of 2016 and then the second presidential campaign in 2020. Most mainstream coverage of these movements does two things. One is it compares them to similar new movements on the radical right, so Donald Trump or Brexit in the UK or Marine Le Pen in France. And the other is it really doesn't pay much attention to the economic conditions that brought them about. So it's mostly about what their leaders say or what they do, but not about the circumstances that brought them into appearance. So I wanted to know why exactly is it that these movements on the right, but especially on the left, have appeared in the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis. And what I do in order to try and prove that is um, adopt a long-term view of the economies of these two countries, Spain and the US, and see how the turn towards increasingly more market-driven governance in both of them, starting in the 1970s, led to the conditions or created the conditions in which these populist parties on the left then could develop um, and actually make their grievances and their case heard. So if you think about the 2008 crisis, it's a moment that really accelerates these trends, but these trends predated the financial crash, crash of 2008. So basically my contention is that in order to do well, these parties have to do two things. One is to come up with a discourse that is different from the traditional discourse of the left. It's not enough to say we're very progressive or we're very working class and you should therefore vote for us. Um, but at the same time, they need to organize in the way that the left has traditionally done. And so do more than just have like good speeches um, or good TV appearances. Ultimately, this is a very hard balancing act. And it's the reason why left populists, while they did surprisingly well in their initial years, haven't gone as far as they were at one point expected to go. So this is not to be pessimistic, but in fact, to acknowledge the current moment is one where we can reflect on the merits and also the shortcomings of this strategy. So as you can imagine, the book goes into much more detail than what I just said. And if you're interested, you should check it out.